Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is I, your girl Sandra Fichi MW, coming back to you with another video. And closing up Vlogmas, you know, um, every year I do what we call, what do you call this, a life update or a year's recap. What's been happening throughout the year, how did I take it and stuff like that. I've done that every year in my channel. Um, I usually do one at the end of the year. And mid-year so like six months six months this year I didn't do a six month update because I was not in the best place uh, mentally and all of that way I need to get comfortable so if you're looking forward to finding out how 2021 has treated me and um, yeah and just chit chat with me then stay tuned to this video and I'll see you on the first side don't forget to like comment share and subscribe So 2021 <laughs> has been a year and a half, I'm telling you, a year and a half. Um, beginning of this year, I had come back from uni, I had just newly graduated, had these hopes, visions and dreams, and motivated, inspired and all of that nonsense. <laughs> but nobody really told me that the real world is a battlefield and you need to prepare for it. So. I came home, um, got the house in Jirobe, lived with my family for a while, and I ended a long-term relationship. Reasons as to why it ended, I'm not yet ready to disclose, but I will disclose in the near future. It's, I'm, I'm, I can talk about it, but then I don't want to help people that are involved, right? And then I got into a thing. It's not a relationship, but a thing. I got into a thing with some other guy and um, I fell head over heels for this person like honestly like legit fell in love and um, I, I consider this person my second love because I don't understand those emotions those emotions were intense <laughs> they were super intense and uh, it turns out he didn't feel the same way about me so he ended it and um, long story short if you want to hear the whole story of that nonsense um, watch the must video and you, you get the whole recap of of that so apart from all the drama that was happening in my love life um, I also was trying to get into uni so I think at that time my reasons as to why I wanted to do my masters were not correct and I think it was God who was stopping me from going to do my masters because I feel I could have been miserable I applied to so many universities, I applied to over 15 universities actually, I got UF universities in South Africa, universities in the US and I just kept on getting reject rejected and then there were three unis that did accept me like University of American University of Beirut but I didn't get the scholarship, I got accepted to some other university in the US Delaware but I couldn't afford to pay for immigration stuff and then I got accepted to the University of Limpopo but also couldn't afford to pay university stuff and I felt like my world was crumbling during that time I felt like nothing was going right like I'm not doing things right and financially also it was a bit tight so it was a really difficult time just rejection after rejection and also rejection in my love life <laughs> and um, I feel like all of that was happening to prepare me for now I feel because if I went to uni then you know if I was with this person then you know uh, what I'm trying to say is like I'm not making sense this video is not gonna make sense half of it but then it's just a life update just deal with it <laughs> the reason why I say it happened the things happened the way they should have happened is because one I wanted to go to uni not because I wanted to study further like further study agriculture and pursue my whatever I'm doing in entomology right it was mostly because I didn't know what was the next step for me I didn't know how I was going to get money I didn't know if I was going to get a job granted I did have like a really good contract with my Mastercard foundation which they were paying quite a good amount of money but that was for six months and um, so what then after the six months so the struggle was to get stuff done for after I finished my contract YouTube pays me but it's not enough to pay and feed like my family and myself you know what i mean <clears throat> so i wanted to go to uni because that was the only thing i knew i could do you know i tried to get jobs i couldn't get jobs so i was like you know just do uni just do uni and that is 
the wrong reason to go to uni. For secondly, I had been reunited with my passions for video and content creation here in Malawi and I was getting jobs in that field and I was working and I was fine but all the money that I was making with Massacre Foundation's uh, fellowship thingy which was also in content creation everything that was making me money was in content creation right but I was taking that money and putting it into trying to find a master's in agriculture <laughs> wow <laughs> wow anyway that was that and <clears throat> I realized later on that look this is not making agriculture is not making me money focus on the career that's making me money now and grow in it and so i left that left it completely i was like you know what i'm just gonna focus on this and all my money that i'm making now should go into drain myself because i'm doing this in malawi i need to get myself a place because i wanted to live independently from my family and i wanted to get stuff of my own and if i'm paying for these visas and applications and stuff like that I'm not gonna prosper you know what I mean so I stopped all of that and focused on growing myself and growing my career and which really turned out quite well because right now um, I'm working with Biz Malawi I love my job so much it's it's not the best uh, like they don't pay me big money but then I mean it's it's good money re regarding that I also have my YouTube and my clients and stuff like that so it's okay um, yeah I love my job <laughs> I don't know what else to say I really love my job so yeah I'm happy I'm happy with that I'm happy financially I'm not that happy because I'm, I wish I could make more I'm trying to get myself a car and financially I know <laughs> so uh, it's chill but it's okay I'm not complaining that's, the, that's the, the greatest thing one thing I've learned this year also is you know if you can't fix it don't bother you know let let God lead that's all I'm trying to say don't fight things I mean put in your effort but if you see that this is out of your control don't force it you're just gonna get depressed and shit and that's not a great place to be <clears throat> and then uh, in regards to my love life I then decided I, I was talking to my first love because I have two loves okay like my first love my second love I was talking to him and he said something to me and he was like you know Sandra you need to learn to be alone because since I was like 17, I've always had a boyfriend all the time. Never been like single like that. Like if it's like I'm single, it's like for a few days. Because the thing is, there's always somebody who's trying to ask me out. And I've never really got to know people. I just like, oh, okay, I think I like this one. And then I'll date them. Not date them, like make it official. And <clears throat> it's like you need to learn to be alone for a bit. Just just find yourself, you know, give yourself time to heal and stuff like that. Because you're coming from a shitty situation. I was like, okay, cool. After I accepted that and let go of male beings <laughs> male beings so to say I found my like I'm okay I'm fine I'm not dying I'm fine like not to say I won't date again I will date but right now I'm dating myself I'm like with myself I'm learning to be alone which I really resonated with Nintendo Mandui like she just posted a video of like reviewing her year or something like that. and she talked about the same thing she was like I've always had a boyfriend all the time never been alone and she didn't know how to be alone and that was me now i'm learning to be alone and it's fine it's fine to be single it's fine to find yourself know yourself because now i know what i want i know what i don't want from that shitty situation that i was from i was in i know what exactly i don't want in a guy from my long-term relationships i know how to handle like long-term relationships and i know what not to do and what to do and i know what i want and what i don't want what's important is now i know what I can accept and what I cannot accept because another problem I had was I always just I always just you know try to make the other person happy I might not be happy I, I don't want to complain I don't want to do too much but now I know what I can accept and what I can accept so that's great and yeah so the year is ending I found myself towards the end of this year I learned about acceptance accepting your situation and then building from there um, I think my dad said to me once in 2019 is don't cry over spilled milk <coughs> sorry I have a coin is don't cry over spilled milk it could have been wine and that's true that's true don't cry over spilled milk it could have been better it could have been like something worse so I don't invalidate anyone's feelings you know 
out but you need to learn to feel what you feel in order to know how to handle it you know what i mean don't fight back don't push back feelings just feel what you have to feel and then work from there right now um i'm in a place where i was called back to the university of Limpopo to do my masters and i declined one because i don't want to put money into the visa pro i don't have the money to put into the visa process <laughs> but two is it something I really want to do? You know what I mean? Um, I'd love to study, yes. But I think I'd love to study what I'm actually working in, what I have experience in, so that when I do try and find jobs in a higher position, I have experience and qualification. Um, you know, I'm just living. I'm just living. 2021 has taught me that um, you can't win all the battles but are you ready to continue fighting the war because I, I reached a point where I wasn't willing to continue the war I just wanted just wanted all of it to end and um, still feel that way sometimes but you know trying to stay strong <laughs> trying to stay strong so that's what 2021 taught me and that um, my life update. Um, I have my little home. My family is okay. I am healing and um, I can't wait for 2022 to see what the year has got for us. Hopefully 2022 will be my year. Hopefully. Anyway, that is my life update for once. Um, I did a live update without doing my makeup because all the boys were complaining like oh you're doing your makeup it's so girly okay I hope you're happy <laughs> and Merry Christmas to everyone because this video is going up on Christmas Merry Christmas to everyone I hope you guys had a beautiful 2021 uh, the pandemic didn't make anything easy but we fought guys we fought like eesh. We have fought and you deserve an applause. You need to pat yourself in the back and say you did it. You pulled through 2021 and now we're gonna fight 2022 and we're ready. We are ready. So happy Merry Christmas to all of you and a happy new year. And uh, I'm still gonna continue posting even though it's the end of Vlogmas. Um, yeah, back to normal schedules. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Rockmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.